Hi everyone and welcome to codingjust.com. Guys, in this AdMob Android tutorial, I will show you how you can implement or how you can display an interstitial ad in your Android application. In our previous video, we configured the AdMob in this Android project and we also display the banner ad in our uh, another banner ad activity. So if you didn't watch that video, so you can watch that video from my channel. And in this video, I will show you how you can uh, implement interstitial ad. Okay, so first of all, I will go to the documentation and I will put this link in the description below. This this is the interstitial add documentation so here as you can see first of all we need to create a variable or instance variable for interstitial add and then we will load the add as you can see here uh, by using the add request okay and uh, below here this is the uh, full screen content callback the interstitial add callback uh, when we interact with our interstitial add as you can see on add click on add dismiss on add fail okay so we will also implement this and below here uh, to show the ad first of all we need to click if uh, we need to check if the interstitial ad is null or not null. so if it is not null and it means that the inter inter interstitial ad is loaded then we will show the ad okay so let's uh, start our tutorial first of all i will go back to my android studio and here i need to create the variable for an in interstitial ad okay i will name it m interstitial okay interstitial ad okay add the semicolon here and below here i i will create a method so private void load interstitial interstitial add okay and first of all if i show you here we need the add request so i will just simply type the address we can also copy this code but i will uh, type it to easily understandable for you okay so I will just simply type add request, add request and I will name it add request equal to and we will check from here new add request dot builder. So new add request dot add request dot builder. Okay. Add request dot builder dot build. Okay. So this is our add request. And the second thing is we will load the interstitial ad so we will need this id this is the ad id and remember this is the testing ad id so i will just simply copy it and i will put this id in uh, my string okay so i will create a new string here and i will name it add more in interstitial okay interstitial ad interstitial id okay you can name it anything you want and i will just simply paste the id here okay and now i come back to my main activity and i will just simply type interstitial add dot load and first of all i need i need to pass the main activity or the activity context and simply i will get resources get resources dot get string okay and or dot string dot add more interstitial sorry add more interstitial id and what is the third parameter here the add request and a callback okay so and a comma add request and hit enter new interstitial add callback and we will implement these fed and load callback okay so when you when the add uh, fail to load so we will just simply add a log here log i and i will name it add mob and here we need to pass the error also so load add error and we will set our m intersection add to null okay if it fails to load and when the air is loaded so i will just simply copy this log cat and i will paste it here i will remove this okay because this is the success on add loaded so i will just simply pass the add interstitial interstitial add loaded okay and what i will do if we go back to the documentation and as you can see here we need to initialize our m interstitial add is equal to interstitial add to this one okay and add a semicolon here so this uh, part is completed and now what we will do we will uh, first we will call this method 
here load interstitial aid so this method will load our interstitial aid send a request for interstitial aid okay and we also need to add the callback for interstitial aid so we will add it here okay our m interstitial aid dot set for screen content callback new back and uh, i will just simply implement the failed and add shown okay and we will also implement the dismiss if we dismiss the add so uh, i will just simply copy this locket here and i will just simply get add dismiss dismiss okay and i will copy it like this uh, add fail to show okay fail to show and can create the error also so add error and uh, when the add is shown then we will simply add displayed okay so this is done you can also implement the other methods here if you want to and now when the user click on this button so if i show you the button this is the button load interstitial aid okay and what we will do we will check if m interstitial aid not equal to null so it means if the aid is loaded okay and uh, what we will do m interstitial aid dot show and we will pass the context of this activity which is main main dot this and in else we will add a log here it is not ready yet okay so we are good to go and now i will run my application okay guys so as you can see here we got an error for this uh, callbacks because this uh, interstitial ad is uh, null but uh, what we will do we will just simply uh, wrap it here with if statement so if m interstitial add not equal to null then we will add all these callbacks okay so i will just simply cut it from here and i will paste it inside this if and now if i run my app again okay we are good to go i will just simply copy this add more and as you can see we got two uh, log messages here the first one is add more initialization and the second one is interstitial add loaded now if i click on this load interstitial add so it will load our add and as you can see here that this is an interstitial add and this is the test add because i'm using the test add id you can use your add id inside your uh, strings.xml okay now if i click on this cross button so you will notice a lock here and there is no lock for closing the ad and also it doesn't show this uh, callback here so the issue is uh, as you can see we are uh, adding this callback uh, before loading uh, after loading the ad so we need to uh, add all these callbacks uh, before loading or showing the ad so i will just simply cut it from here and as you can see here in our on button click we will just simply add it here okay now if we uh, click on this button and the interstitial ad is loaded then it will set all these callbacks okay now if i run my application okay we will wait for the ad load okay the ad is loaded and now i will click on this button load interstitial ad and as you can see ad displayed uh, log message is uh, here okay so now it uh, this callback is working and now if i try to close this uh, ad so i will just simply click on this cross and as you can see ad dismiss so uh, that's how you can uh, implement this uh, callback uh, when you are showing the ad so make sure you uh, 
you initialize this callback uh, before showing the ad okay so that's it for this video guys and that's how you can show or display interstitial ad in your android application and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos